Watching YouTube channel, YouTube channel today. Hello guys, it's me, Ak, also known as Akka, reporting the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the LG G Pad 5. I mean, I'm in dial G Pad 5. LG V50. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, so that way you never miss a brand new video that's uploaded every other day. Um, you can pick this one up on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. The price on this one, 360 bucks. And, and, um, there is about 6 gigabytes of RAM, about 128 gigabytes of storage, and removable storage, micro XD, SDXC, Expandable up to 512 gigabytes of removable storage and battery life. Removable LE PO 4000 MAH battery life. Now, you can have about, you can cut this in half. About playtime, you don't have to worry about playtime because this is not a speaker, this is just a phone. And as you can see, you're probably wondering how the heck is this standing up. Um, then here's the little stand in the back of the phone. That allows you to, um, that allows you to, um, stand it up and use it on the kickstand. And then there is the back of the phone where the case is. It's 5G because every LG phone before it went, you know, obsolete was 5G. And then the little plus sign that says 5 plus G, which is, you can tell by the plus sign, right in the middle, cutting off the glass with the 5G and the little four cameras that are on here. Now, before we get started, is this phone really worth 360 bucks? And I'll tell you the opinions on the things I do like and the things I don't like. And then at the end of the video, I will rate them and tell me if this phone is right for you. Now, let's get started. First, we're going to go to the... Camera roll. We are going to go to just one sec. Let me actually put it on the kickstand again. That way I can actually. Alright, perfect. Now I put it on the kickstand. Here is our camera. Let's go to the video. The studio, which I didn't know there's actually on this. I didn't know there's studio on here. Portrait, photo, video, and all camera, manual camera, and more. There is also comes with night view, paranormal, story shot, manual phone, slow mode, flash jump cut, triple shot, panic shot, chine, chine shot, uh, kind shot, food, YouTube live, and more. This actually, I like. I actually like that. I actually like this phone because I like the features that are actually on here. More than the last tablet, the last thing I reviewed, the LG G Pad did not have everything that this had as an LG. And even though tablets and phones are not the same, and not every phone is like a tablet, not every tablet is like a phone, you think they would have a little more, a little more features because it's a tablet and it has just a little tiny bit less, but you could add some things. But here are the settings up. Here is the Google app where you can change all types of different colors. Here is the Storm app. Here is the three camera mode app, whatever that is. And then here's your virtual camera. Take a picture. Perfect. Now that you have a picture, let's go on to edit. Let's go to, let's see, edit. Let's go to hit, you can go to enhance. Dynamic, warm, cool, and you go to suggestions, you can go to save copy, and all this other stuff. Discard. Let me just discard this. And you can go to star, share, trust. The same thing in the other tablet, but just a little more features though. I like this. Camera, there's camera move, copy, slide, show, set of image, add signature, lock, add location, print. Oh my god, there's so many features that my phone and my tablet did not have. Maybe I'm just not seeing it all because maybe I'm not reviewing it all. But I'll make a real review like Flossy Cutter does. I'll make a real review on the phone, on the L, on the uh, Pixel 6 next time I do a review. 
which is going to be very soon, which is going to be the next two days. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, I actually like this phone. And now we're going to go to Google Assistant and see what it has to offer. Google Assistant, tell me the weather, please. It's 59 and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 52. Thank By you. the way, if you'd like to hear a brief summary of your day, including today's weather, your commute, calendar events, and more, you can say, good morning. Google, this is very helpful that Google could actually do this. Not that... Google was the problem on any of my phone or tablet. It's just that the actual phone itself. Now, you can do text messaging because yes, it is a phone. You can go to any text you want, any Chrome you want, any calls you want. And yes, you can download the text app, the phone app to do calls and wireless calls, or you can put an aux cord if you're doing a Bluetooth speaker. Because this phone is for aux cord, because you can see. Still has a little cord in the back that you can use for headphones or in that case I'll quote because it's an old style phone but other than that that's about it now I want to give you my honest opinion do I like this phone and what are the ups and downs of this believe it or not I actually like this phone I know it's hard for me to say that because of an LG product you're probably more thinking me wanting Apple or Samsung or Pixel or any of those over this Android phone but actually, it's not bad. It's about I rate this about a seven or eight compared to the Pixel Six, about a nine in the fuck in the Apple compared to like a ten or eleven. This is about an eight. I would not. There are no problems I had with this at all. This is like one of the greatest phones I have reviewed yet. So, and the ups and downs. Well, maybe a little bit of um. Slowness and Wi-Fi, that's about it. That's the only ups and down I have. All right, there, I rate this at about, a ten, about an 8-star rating. So, if you guys want to pick this up on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.